Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you today how to make these dangles that I was telling you about in one of my previous videos. These are simple to make and um, they're really pretty. So I thought I'd show you how to make them. These dangles were inspired by another YouTuber her name is Jen over at Strawberry Cream 38, I believe, on YouTube. And she's an awesome crafter as well. So go check her out. Before I get started, I did want to give a shout out to Gina from Gina Loves to Craft. She sent me this sweet card in the mail, and I've been meaning to. Um, let you guys know about it but she sent a sweet message it says hi sweet Billy thank you for thinking of me thank you for an amazing beautiful happy mail so happy we met on YouTube love Gina loves to craft thank you Gina thank you so much and um, you guys go check out her channel she has some awesome things on her channel and she has some awesome hauls I love to watch her channel so thank you Gina Okay, so let's jump right in. We are gonna need some eye pins, some jump rings, some spacers, optional, some charms, optional, and a tassel. So, let me show you how to get started with this. First you take your eye pin, you're going to turn them upside down so that the, the eye is at the bottom. And actually for the ones that I made before, I think I used a longer eye pin. These are just a bit shorter than these. But anyway, so I like to take a larger bead and put it at the bottom. So I'm going to start off with this pink bead and then I'm going to put a spacer on there. It gives it a nice touch. So a spacer and then I'm going to do a clear bead and then another spacer and then just a small pink bead. Well, let's see. Now, once you get all of those on like that, you're gonna make a small loop at the top so that your bead doesn't fall off. Because if your bead falls off, you have to do it all over again. You don't wanna do that. So, now we have a small loop at the top. And I did want to show you, these are some other ones that I have made just to show the variety that you can do. I don't want to be partial and say, oh, I want pink. I normally do pink things, but they're also beautiful in other colors. So these are some of the other ones that I have started. And I'll actually, do one of these instead. So this is this is step one. I just showed you step one. But I'm going to finish off with this one. So that's step one. We have this step. Now we're going to use a jump ring and add it to the top. So you're going to add a jump ring to the top loop like this. And you're also going to add your lobster clasp. So you're going to put that on. And at this point, you're going to add, if you want to, you can add a charm. So I'm going to just stick, let's do a round charm. I'm just going to put on a round charm. 
I'm hoping that this charm will fit. Maybe this one. Okay, we'll do a flower charm. So, now, as you can see, I have put the flower charm and the lobster clasp on the same jump ring. And then you're gonna take your tool and you're gonna close it. Sometimes it's hard to close, but um, do the best you can. Let's see. My hands are slippery. Let's see. So I hope you guys are doing well today. We have a beautiful day outside. I need to get out and get some exercise, do a little bit of walking. It always makes you feel better, right? All right, so I closed that one. And so it looks like this so far. So we have the beads on the eye pin, the charm, and the lobster clasp. Now we're gonna turn that upside down and you're gonna see the loop that's already um, at the bottom. And you can take another um, jump ring and take the jump ring and loop it through the bottom loop. This is the tricky part. And then put your tassel on that jump ring at the bottom. You can use a small jump ring or you can use a larger one. This depends on what you like. So I'm using a small one and I might, may regret that in a few minutes because <laughs> it's harder to get hold to it. All right, so hold your hands really steady for this part. And then you're gonna close it. Now my closures are not perfect but you want to close it just so that it doesn't fall off. And then your end product should look like this. And normally I will take, um, I will put a charm here. You can add a charm or you can hot glue like a bow or something on there like I did this one. But I think these are super cute. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love to hear from you guys. And um, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love, 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 love if you would do so. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. And I will see you soon. Oh, before I go, I wanted to show you um, a project that I worked on yesterday. Um... Let me move this. It is a cute little bow, and I'm gonna do a tutorial for this one as well, and it's made out of craft paper. So, um, uh, look, look for this video, and I will see you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day, and to all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Have a great weekend. Bye.